What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Netflix Man-Thing Build-A-Figure Waves Jessica Jones. If you're trying to pick up the set, you can do so right now at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So we get the lovely Jessica Jones right over here. I'm very, very excited for this one. Anyway, on the side you can see a beautiful image of Jessica Jones, and then on the very back you can see a beautiful looking product shot, and then we have a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave, and then we get Jessica Jones over there, and then we get the Jessica Jones right there at the very, very top, looking pretty sweet. And then not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Jessica Jones out of the packaging, and this is a beautiful figure. I really do like it a lot. It is a simple figure as well. There's not a whole lot of stuff going down as far as accessories and things like that, and the sheer size of the figure. I mean, you know, she's pretty small and everything, as she should be. So there's not a whole ton of stuff coming along with this figure aside from the large Build-A-Figure piece, but the figure itself is very good. I like it a lot. So let's get a closer look. I'm going to briefly talk about the history of Jessica Jones. The Alias comic was created with Jessica Jones in it by Brian Michael Bendis back in 2001. And it was actually supposed to be Jessica Drew. Spider-Woman was supposed to be the main lead, but there's some conflicts, I guess, in the backstory and everything. So uh, we still don't really see Jessica Jones's jewel too much in the comics, but it does happen every now and then. And then here's some images of this figure next to Kristen Ritter and wow, she looks beautiful and uh, yeah, it looks very accurate I think. This is probably one of the most accurate action figures uh, to an actual actor I think I've seen coming from Hasbro. I, I think this is spot on. I mean, if I was to complain, I think there's just a tiny little bit of black splotching right underneath her left eye right there. But I mean, jeez man, they nailed it. Look at that. Oh, come on, man. They had one job. One job. And they nailed it. And they, they really did nail it. I mean, we do get a couple of added things here with this body mold. A lot of it's reused stuff. But, I mean, this head sculpt. Man, and the eyes, they look great. Even the nose. I always notice her nose looks kind of funny. You know what I mean? She's got that little peaky thing going on right there. And, yeah, they, they got that. The hair looks beautiful as well. With this jet black hair looking very nice. And I love the leather jacket, too. It's very cool. I'm digging that a lot. You can see the texturing, it does look like real leather on um, this piece. On the hard plastic, uh, you don't see the texturing as much. You get some very nice wrinkles over here though. And the gloves look pretty good. And you can see the fingers sticking out right over there. Uh, on this side right here, you can see they could have added just a little bit more black paint, but still not too bad. I'm tempted to just touch that up with a Sharpie. But yeah, you know, still, I mean, this leather jacket though. Yeah, it very much reminds me of my FMC jacket. I like it a lot. That's very cool. All the buttons and everything. The zippers look great. Very nice soft pliable material. I'm, I think this is a brand new upper torso right here, but I think the lower torso has been used before. Very small. And you've seen her uh, with the gray shirt, but she wears black shirts too, so, you know, that's alright. I would have preferred a gray shirt though. It would have just made the jacket pop a little bit more, I think. And looking at the pants and everything, we've seen this with the Mary Jane 2-pack figure before. Uh, which again is, you know, not really as voluptuous as Kristen Ritter, you know. Uh, just a comparison, I mean, she does kick out a lot farther from the jacket than this figure does, but, you know. Oh well, uh, it's not terrible, but could be better, could be better. But yeah, we get some nice light blue over the darker blue from the plastic, so I think that's pretty dope. I like that a lot. You know, we'd seen that on the MJ figure too, but it's a little bit different on this one. A little bit of extra flesh paint right there that I don't think is supposed to be there, but doesn't bother me. It's not that much of a nuisance. And looking at the lower legs right over here, you can see that they added these little boots right over here. Uh, so they've given her the, the regular feet, but they just added these plastic pieces right over here to make these like faux boots, which, I don't know, I think that's fine. You got the laces on the sides right there. Doesn't really bother me. She does have peg holes under her feet. Now to go over the articulation with this figure, which I do like. Uh, you can see, once again, we have a figure with hair, you know, coming all the way down the back right there. And she can still look up. It's really due to this shifting forward and back movement. So you shift it back and then, you know, push against her forehead right here. 
You can see the disc hinge in there and she'll look up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. At least she does look up. Uh, she can look all the way down. You get side to side movement. And then she does have a little bit of tilting, not a whole lot. Shoulders move outward that much on both sides. You can move her arms all the way down, which is good. Well, down that far anyway. And then she could rotate a full 360. Uh, we only get the single jointed elbow and it doesn't even meet 90 degrees. So yeah, again, I wish we had double jointed elbows. I'm really not buying that whole aesthetic thing, man. Anyway, you get a rotation right here at the elbow and then you get rotation at the wrist and both wrists hinge up and down. She has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. She does have a very good diaphragm pivot she'll crunch forward quite a bit and back quite a bit and she has hip joints that move all the way out hello luke cage and she can kick all the way forward and not back at all she has an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees that bend all the way in and then her ankles can move down up and she does have ankle pivot now to measure out this Jessica Jones figure, you can see that she's standing at about just a little under six and a half inches tall. And then for a size comparison, here we have Jessica Jones next to the Mary Jane figure from the Spider-Man 2 pack. And you can see Jessica Jones is just a little bit taller. So let's get some head swappage going on here. I did this earlier and I actually really liked it a lot. I thought Mary Jane's head on this body looked really good. I like that a lot, right? Beautiful red head with the leather jacket and everything. That's very, very nice. And you can put the Jessica Jones head on the MJ body. It's a little bit loose, but you know, that, that is another option that you could do right over there. Uh, or we can use the Invisible Woman head sculpt and go ahead and pop that on, even though the flesh tone is a little bit more pink on the Invisible Woman, but still, you know, having the blonde with the leather jacket, not too bad. Not too bad, that's pretty cool. Or we can, we can go ahead and pop on the silk head sculpt. And that one goes, and that looks pretty good as well. Uh, the flesh tone yeah, looks pretty solid. Looks all right, but I think that's pretty neat. That's cool. I also wanted to try this with the Carol Danvers head sculpt, see how that would look on here. And yeah, it doesn't really want to work. Yeah, so that's not working out too well. And then speaking of head swaps, I forgot to do this head swap right here with Loki. So here we have the Avengers figure Loki, and we have the Ragnarok Loki. So just to put that on there, just to see how that looks, it actually does not look too bad, but it's not really on the peg. If you smushed it all the way down there, he would have no neck, so you kind of have to just rest it on top like that. So if you wanted to do that, you could. And then as far as switching out the helmets themselves, looks kind of weird though, man. Yeah, I'm not really liking that too much. He has just too much hair for that, but you know, if you want to use some wax or something and put this head sculpt on here, you could make that work. Yeah, I forgot to do that in my Loki review. But then comparing Jessica Jones to your average comic Marvel Legends figure, here she is next to the Ms. Marvel, who actually saves Jessica Jones when she's under the spell or under the mind control of Kilgrave, Purple Man. So they become buddies, which is a possibility for something we could see in the actual MCU. And then here's Jessica Jones next to the only other figure from this wave that I have reviewed. We have the Netflix Daredevil. And one thing I didn't notice, Somebody had pointed this out in my Daredevil review that you can actually move the batons uh, further down in the sheath right over there. So before I just had it up to, you know, where the black part ends. But you can move them all the way down there so you can get the hip moving without those getting in the way. So that's pretty sweet. And then here's Jessica Jones next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. And here's Jessica Jones on a Mafex stand in a flight pose. Of course I had to do that. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that if you tilt that upper torso back a little bit further, you will get a little bit of gappage, which is kind of annoying. Uh, not the most terrible thing in the world, but still a little annoying. And yeah, I wish her head could look up a little bit more so, but still, I mean, it's understandable. She has a lot of hair right there and she still can look up. So overall, I am very pleased with this figure. I do like it a lot and I'm very happy to have it and add it to my collection. I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of the review. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed and you have not hit the notification bell, please go ahead and do so so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. That's crispy. Was shot, was shot, was shot in your face. I said, was shot, was shot, was shot in your face. I said, was shot, was shot, was shot in your face. I said, was shot, was shot, was shot in your face. I said, was shot.
shine, shine your face. 